Hey guys, for today, I'm gonna be attempting to recreate one of MKBHD's other intros. This is the intro that I'm gonna try and recreate. And, um, yeah. So this is not the MKBHD channel. This is actually one of MKBHD's sub-channels. But the two channels are related to each other. I'm going to this completely blind. This is my first time attempting this. So I'm gonna start in the background. So you can see that the background is just this weird changing texture thing. It looks like paint, actually. Paint texture. So for the next, like, 30 minutes, I try to find a decent paint texture to put in the After Effects composition. And I'm gonna try. <sighs> Come on. Seriously. Oh, this looks janky as hell. This does not look what I want at all. And I ended up finding this, which is kind of similar. Alright. Oh, this is painful. So then I basically configured that image to look like the paint in the original intro. So first off, I made a new composition which controls the alpha of the image. And then in the original image, I went crazy on the position, rotation, and scale. And then I added a posterized time and hoped it looked good. So now it looks a little bit like the original intro. I mean, not that much, but uh, it's good enough, okay? It's just impossible to find something that looks exactly like this on the internet. So you can see here, there's this uh, side here that has this weird uh, dotted texture. I'm gonna attempt to recreate the dotted texture next. So now I've created a quick composition. You can see it's called dotted texture one. So I then added a turbulent noise effect in which I configured the settings to look like the turbulent noise in the intro. And then I'm going to add a posterized time effect. I'm gonna set the FPS to FPS. I'm gonna add a lumetri color effect, color wheels, and I'm gonna change the highlights, shift the highlights to more of a yellowish color like this. You can see the dots are a little bit yellowish. So how I did the dots was in a fresh new pre-composition, I started off with a single dot, which I basically duplicated many, many times using the motion tell effect. I then set the track mode of the fusion composition to the dot composition. So then the noise layer only shows up in the areas that the dot composition is not invisible. And it really was trial and error in getting the circles to look right. I got them to a point where they actually kind of do look good and also added a little bit of turbulent displays to the dots themselves i also added a bit of cc lens to it so now the lens sort of curves a little bit this way and then after a little bit of regretting my life choices now let's do the hard part yay <laughs> I started to work on the actual logo animation. So what I would do normally is I would reference the video on the side and try and match it up and I would constantly do this all the time. But I was worried that that was going to be way, way too hard for me. So I just downloaded the original video and then matched up the logo. Here's so they probably just used circle masks. And then for these parts, they just cut it in half. It was kind of difficult to match up the logo because the original logo had posterized time already applied on it. So there were limited frames that I could go off of. But when I was done, it actually looked pretty good. So now you may notice that these are just white solids. I'm now gonna try and get this weird texture. So I then went on the internet and tried to find a decent concrete texture, which I then color graded to look like the texture in the original. So there's the concrete lumetri color, and I'm gonna just change it around with the color wheels. I'm gonna set the track mat of this concrete texture to the S graphic. And now, this concrete texture only shows up where the S graphic is. It actually does look like the original, almost. And now I'm gonna add a couple more effects. I'm just gonna pre-compose these two compositions. I'm gonna rename it to finished S, and I'm gonna add a couple more effects onto this S. So I'll proceed to add multiple effects onto that S before moving on to the next thing. And those effects are posterized time, of course. Also, I added a turbulent displace, so then the shape sort of warbles a little bit without affecting the image behind. And then another effect I'm gonna add is I'm gonna go back to this S graphic, adjustment layer, and then add a turbulent displace on top of everything. I'm just gonna set the amount and the size to a really low amount. So now, when I turn up the evolution, it waves a little bit. Another thing I did to round out the shapes a little bit is I added a little bit of a blur effect to the mat, and then I added a curves effect so that I could undo the blur, and then that sort or rounded out the corners a little bit and then i moved on to the text now i'm gonna try and recreate this studio text which i don't even know anymore so i didn't have a font that looked exactly like the one that they used so i tried to reverse image search the font and i found this font which doesn't look exactly like it but it's good enough for what i'm doing i spent literally I know, a whole hour trying to get that text to look right because the text in the original intro was 
so overwhelmingly complicated to replicate easily. So long story short, I basically just downloaded a couple of halftone patterns from the internet and I basically just blended it into the text and then there was a first part when it was like sort of fading in and then I just added those halftone patterns. And of course I added posterized time because why not, right? And then for the out transition, I actually had to make some different paper alpha textures which I couldn't really figure out how to do. And this is the finished product. So I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you loved it, please subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye! I'm gagging at my own freaking visual effects skills.